In this video, I'll be going through 10 more fairly easy all-all cases. So the first cases I'll be going through are these square cases. So they can be recognized by this uh, square on in one of the corners, all right? So we want to hold the square and on the uh, right-hand side of the cube in a way that we can still see a single yellow corner on this side, on the right side. So right now, I have it towards the right hand side, it's on the top right, and I can see this corner, which is good. If I hold it this way, it's to the bottom right, which is alright, but we don't see the corner, yellow corner here, so this is the wrong way to hold it. So we want to hold it, so that we can still see the corner here. And um, this is basically uh, back soon, but with wide moves, so kind of like this. So the other case, uh, kind of sort of like the opposite to the other, uh, the previous case, is this one here. Um, once again, we want to hold the square towards the right hand side of the cube, but we still want to see the yellow corner sticker. So here we see it, so this is the correct way to hold it. If we were to hold it like this, for example, like the previous one, uh, we wouldn't see the single yellow corner here, so this would actually be the wrong way to hold it for this case. So now that the corner is at the back, um, it sort of reminds us that we want to do the uh, the uh, sort of like the soon the wide soon algorithm from the back, so like this. So moving on to the C shapes, uh, this one here. This is the first case. Uh, it's fairly easy to recognize. It's got the C shape here, and it's got this three by one bar on the uh, right hand side. So we want to hold this bar towards you know the right hand side and then we want to use this algorithm. So it's a fairly simple algorithm. It uh, involves the setup moves R prime U prime and then you go into a sledgehammer and then you just undo the setup moves. So the second C shape is this one here. Um, it's different to the previous one because there is no 3 by one bar here. As you can see the uh, stickers on the sides are sort of like spread out, they're not clumped together. And so for this case, we want to hold the C so that it is sort of like facing you, like this at the front. And uh, then we use this algorithm. So it's basically a sexy sledge but with a few B moves in between. So moving on to the next shape, we have some W shapes here, and so um, I think that the name of these shapes is a bit misleading because we want to hold it in a way that looks like an M, not a W. So yeah, anyway, um, for, for this case we want to look for these sort of 2 by one bars on the, on the side, so there's only one of them, so we always want to hold it either to the left or right side. So not facing you, this is the wrong way to hold it. So we want to hold it like this because it's facing on to the side. Um, but this still has to form the shape of an M, not a W. So if I hold the 2 by one bar on this side, it's facing the side, but this looks more like a W than an M. So this will also be the wrong way to hold it. So we want to hold it like this. And uh, this uh, matching colors here shows us which hand to use. So it's facing the right, so we want to use our right hand for this algorithm. And it also helps to track where this F2L pair goes during the algorithm. So it starts off by taking the F2L pair out and then putting it back in with the sledgehammer. So the uh, second W case, uh, this one here, it's uh, basically the same as the last one but mirrored. So once again, we want to hold it so that it looks like an M on the top, not a W despite the name being W shapes. And we want to have this uh, two by one matching color here, yellow, on the side. So like this, not, not at the front facing towards you and not on the other side because remember, this has to be an M, not a W. So holding it like this, because these yellow stickers are facing towards the left, it reminds us that we want to use our left hand this time for the algorithm. And so it actually helps if we watch where this F2L pair goes during the algorithm. So it's the same algorithm as the previous one, but with our left hand. So we want to take the F2L pair all the way out, put it all the way back in with the lefty sledge. 
So moving on to the awkward shapes, uh, they kind of look like this. So with the uh, lightning bolt here, with the single oriented corner to the side here. And a uh, quick note that these are the ones with headlights. So the ones with headlights, we always want to hold the lightning bolt part vertically and towards the left of the cube. So like this, um, not like this because this would be sort of horizontally and not like this because this is towards the right side of the cube. So like vertically and to the left side of the cube. So um, in this case, the headlights are facing away from us, but that's all right. Um, this corner here is quite important because it, it reminds us where our first move goes. So here it's at the front right. So we want to start our algorithm, which is basic, which starts off with a soon. We want to start the soon off at the front right. So like this. And after the soon, we get this case, which can be solved with f, sexy f prime. So the next awkward shapes case is this one here. Uh, once again, it's got headlights. So the ones with headlights, you will always want to hold the lightning bolt part to the left and vertically. So this is to the left and it's vertically, which is right. Uh, this would not be right because it's horizontal. And this is not correct either because it's towards the right. So to the left and vertically. This time the headlights are facing towards us, which once, you, once again is alright, it's not too important. The important part is this single corner here. It's at the back right, which means that we want to start our soon from the back right, which is basically an anti-soon. So start the algorithm with the anti-soon from the back right, and then that leaves us with the same OLL case, which can be solved by F sexy F prime. Alright, next awkward shapes case, uh, same on the top, it's still an awkward shape, it's still got the lightning bolt and the single dot, but you may notice now on the sides there are no headlights. So with awkward shapes with no headlights, we want to always hold it so that it's, at the, it's horizontally and towards the back. Um, there is an easier way to remember how to hold it and it's by looking at matching colours on the side. So here we have two yellows that are matching. Uh, no other matching colors. So we want to hold the matching colors always towards the front. So that could be an easier way to remember it. So at the front and then once again we want to single out the uh, lonely corner here because that once again tells us where our first move goes. So it's at the front right so our first move involves the right hand. So this is the right handed algorithm. So it goes like this. So the final awkward shapes case uh, is this one here. And uh, once again, we could remember that the lightning bolt part always goes to the back horizontally, or we could remember it with these matching colors at the front here. So once again, no other matching colors on the sides. So the ones with the matching colors always have to be at the front facing towards you. And once again, we wanna look at this single uh, corner by, by itself here, and it's towards the left which reminds us that this is the left-handed algorithm that we're meant to be using. So it goes like this. So that was 10 more easy OLO algorithms that are fairly easy to recognize and execute. So I, I hope you learned a thing or two from this video and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.